And what's going on guys, uh, Mini Call here coming at you with a uh, another video today. This one is just going to be a little update on Kestrel. Um, they're kind of playing around with the team a little bit, uh, looking at their abilities, the passives, you know, all that fun stuff. So um, first I want to take a look real quick at uh, Nick Fury and just kind of go over um, some of the things that I honestly wasn't paying attention to. Um, so part of it um, is on his, uh, all of his tags have now been included to in, um, include Kestrel. Um, so, you know, you get that 20% mechanic. Um, if you T4 it, it becomes a 30% chance to assist. Um, the reinforcement, if you do have it, you know, T4, it's going to be 40 plus damage to uh, shield agents, um, which that doesn't really kind of affect. But um, what you're looking here is you know, you summon your two shield agents, uh, you gain positive effects for two turns, and if Kestrel is an ally, you apply defense up for one turn plus death proof to those summoned agents. Uh, so the agents are either, you know, shield operative, which is the healer, shield security, who is the tank. So, you know, that definitely gives them a little bit more survivability. Normally those agents kind of die in one hit as they are quite weak. The other thing, too, uh, is his special here. So you gain defense up. If you have it t forward, he gains uh, 10,000 uh, healing for himself and Kestrel. Uh, with him as a isolate healer, that does obviously increase, plus 15% of this character's max health. And then on war defense, he will also heal Coulson. So if you look here too, with an isolate healer, uh, even with the basic one, you know he is gaining five percent active healing. So if you have it T forward, it's ten thousand. You know five percent of that. Um, you know obviously not that much, but if you T forward, it does get obviously a little higher. And if you do increase his isolate level, that will also increase. The other ones uh, have not really had too much of a rework. But the other thing I want to talk about too, and I didn't do it in the last video, is Kestrel's actual T4s. And I have leveled her up just a little bit higher since the last video. I did get a little bit lucky on a gold orb. So looking at her stuff right here, she is again kind of one of those characters, very similar to Silver Surfer, where you know she is all of her abilities are really good T4s. So Something that I definitely think would probably be the top priority, definitely her passive, where she's going to get an additional 10% healing. So that'll be 20% healing um, on her own turn, plus clear all negative effects. When you T4 it, she actually gets 5% healing per negative effect that is removed. She's also going to increase 100% damage to the most injured enemy, and she's also going to get that additional 20% max health for Nick Fury ally. So that'll basically kind of make Nick Fury beefier. So she will gain a total, um, or Nick Fury rather, will gain a total of essentially 40% max health. And then the Nick Fury allies are also going to gain 20% max health as well. So 100% damage to the most injured enemy is pretty cool. Um, that is basically going to be on her, basically part of her passive, it's a bonus attack, but if any enemy that has defense down is attacked, she's going to attack that most injured enemy for 400% damage if it's t 4 So the passive, definitely phenomenal. Going on over to her ultimate, I think that is the next uh, top priority for her. So when it is up to the T4, it actually does 600% piercing damage, which is insane. And she's also going to clear all positive effects from the primary target. The other thing, too, when you have a T4, she's also going to apply defense down for two turns. And the cool thing about that is because of the way her kit works, whenever anyone is going to attack someone with defense down, she's then going to turn around and basically do her dimensional hopper and attack that enemy if you have a T4 for 400% damage. Uh, her special over here is another one that is, you know, again, it's another great T4. So, and it's basically for applying these defense down for two turns to each of the targets she attacks, as well as the immunity for herself for two turns. So, you know, not only is she going to apply um, speed up and defense up for herself for two turns, she's then also going to apply defense down and immunity, um, you know, to the enemy and then to herself. So again, another very, very strong T4. And then her basic over here, again, I'd say this is probably, with all the defense downs going, 
This would probably be the last one on my list to T4, but still a great T4, as whenever she does her basic attack, she's going to apply defense down for two turns to the primary and second target. And when looking over, um, just kind of real quick, um, if you look over at msf.gg, um, you know, that kind of basically is a good indication of how that ISO 8 bonus attack is going to work. So when we kind of go in here and um, we look at that. Uh, give me just a minute, y'all. Um, it's kind of going in. All right, uh, bear with me just a second, y'all. Um, Sorry. Um, so they don't actually have Kestrel on msf.gg yet, which is a little odd. Um, but basically the way that I would assume is her um, isolate bonus attack is also going to apply the defense down for two turns. So when she is doing that isolate bonus attack right now, it does one defense down, and the bonus attack should also do a another one. Um, so... In theory, if she is doing that isolate bonus attack, it should be doing it for four turns um, if she gets a bonus attack. So I'm going to go in real quick and um, just kind of do a, another fight. I did do a fight against uh, the Wave 1 Avengers, and the fight actually went really well. Um, let's go in and uh, we will try, we'll do another Wave 1 fight. And just kind of looking at um, some of the mechanics and how they work. Why I think this um, team composition with Shield Trooper and Shield Assault actually works the best. So the thing with if you bring in either Shield Security, uh, Shield Medic, or Shield Operative, you don't really have many characters that can apply that uh, ISO-8 vulnerable, and you definitely want that kind of going on. So I'm going to slow this down just a little bit. We will start off with uh, Nick Fury's ultimate. So he is going to summon. We've got... Um, he summoned two, so we've got a shield security and a shield operative. You'll see here that they did spawn with deathproof for two turns, as well as defense up for one turn. So what that's going to do is normally, like I said, these characters would probably get one-shotted, and with them having deathproof for two turns, that at least gives them the ability to survive three hits, where typically in the past they might only be able to survive one. So we'll go in, we'll start it with uh, shield troopers uh ultimate and you did see he's got that vulnerable going so we're going to work on getting some vulnerables across the field um so i've got shield trooper as a skirmisher the reasoning behind that is is shield trooper is pretty cool in the sense where anytime one of his shield allies gets attacked he is going to do a counter attack that counter attack is actually going to apply vulnerable if he is a skirmisher so that's why i popped him in as a skirmisher shield assault kind of goes without saying she does aoe damage so she is a raider so let's go in now. We will get some um, defense downs on the field, and we will see how that kind of bonus attack with Kestrel and her passive kind of starts to work. So I did also turn on um, high graphics. So this is showing kind of the full graphics now for um, the team. You saw there she just did her um, ISO-8 bonus attack, which did end up killing Thor over there. So we don't actually have anyone on the team currently with defense down. So we are working on getting that up. Um, I have Coulson set as a raider just because all of his attacks um, basically have an AoE component. Now we have here, um, Captain America does have a defense down. So I just want to show off how Kestrel's passive works. So, and I can't actually do that because um, Hulk is taunting. So we will go ahead, we'll do her um, special ability, get the healing going. So what would happen is, is if we did do an attack, which let me see if that triggered. Okay, so a isolate bonus attack or a counter attack does not trigger that defense down mechanic. Um, so that's a little interesting. Um, and weirdly enough, Skirmisher did not... Um, I have to triple check, but Skirmisher did not apply the vulnerable like it should have. So that's something I'm going to have to look at also um, when I look at the team. Make sure their ISO 8 um, classes are correct. But um, 
Anyway, we're going to keep this going. Um, I think, okay, so he does not still have that defense down. I'd like to get a defense down back on the team so we can kind of show off how Kestrel's ability kind of works. Um, we'll go in, we will do her special here, which is going to apply defense down to each target she attacks. Um, so it should at least get one defense down. So we're going in. So we got defense downs on both Captain America and Vision. Um, and it looks like Hulk has it as well, which is pretty cool. So we should be able to see. So our next turn, anyone we attack, um, Kestrel should actually do a bonus attack um, on them. So let's go in. Let us attack Captain America. So he's got that defense down. He was killed. And you'll see there that um, Kestrel just did her dimensional hopper, which is her passive bonus attack. So basically, because we attacked an enemy that has defense down, Kestrel will then basically attack the weakest enemy on the field. Um, so she definitely kind of helps kind of kill things off. Um, definitely a really cool mechanic. Now let me just go in. I want to triple check um, that I have Shield Trooper marked correctly. Um, and you'll see here the shield operative and, um, well, only the shield operative was able to actually live through the fight despite being a very weak summons. So, uh, let's go in real quick. I want to make sure I have the right ISOs, um, on shield trooper. And for whatever reason, I'm not too sure why, um, skirmisher should have actually caused, um, that move to go through, but let's look at that real fast. Uh, there's our shield trooper. Um, all right, so we have him as skirmisher. Um, yeah, I'm honestly not too sure. I would think his, um, you know, very kind of similar to how cable works. Um, I would also think that his counterattacks uh, should have caused vulnerable. So that might be something to look at. Um, that might be a possible bug. Um, because his um, those attacks should trigger. Let me see the wording, um, and if they're not actually, yeah. So I mean, the way this is worded, that actually should have caused a vulnerable. So I'm not too sure why that didn't happen. Um, let's go in. Uh, we'll do one more attack and um, see if that mechanic is working. Uh, we'll go in against the Young Avengers team. But, um, so yeah, this team definitely has some really cool potential. Uh, Kestrel, I still think, is a very plug-and-play character. Again, kind of on the level of Silver Surfer, where all of her T4s are T4-able. Um, I would honestly probably start from the bottom, working your way up. Um, we are going to keep this on 1x speed, just because I want to make sure that Shield Trooper's mechanic is working correctly. Um... Because it's really weird that his counterattacks are not causing uh, a vulnerable, because they really should be. Um, and it might be that he maybe hit more than one person. Um, I honestly wasn't paying attention all that much. Um, so let's see. We'll keep it, like I said, on the slower speed, just to make sure um, that we've got kind of what going on is what we need. So we've got a lot of vulnerables on the field, which is great. We'll go in with uh, Kestrel. We will do her ultimate, get some defense downs on the t on the field. And so far, nothing has um, kind of lived through her bonus attack, because that second bonus attack should actually then cause a second defense down, which it did just right there, which is really cool. Um, but because of Squirrel Girl's abilities, she did heal her up, so you know she didn't die, obviously. Um, so whenever you see that little proc of Dimensional Hopper, that is Kestrel's passive ability. All right, there we go. So that actually worked the way it was supposed to. Um, which is good. Um, I must not have been paying attention on the last one. And on the last one, Shield Trooper must have been attacked by two people, um, which is, or, you know, two different people attacked, which is maybe why he didn't um, isolate uh, vulnerable a couple of people. So you saw right there when um, Miles Morales did his move, um, he then counterattacked, uh, being Shield Trooper, and applied vulnerable to Miles. So I think that's why this kind of team layout is the best one to kind of get those vulnerables on the field and really kind of get those isolate bonus attacks um, coming from Kestrel. So we'll go in, we will then again do um, Shield Operative Special, get some healing up for our summoned Shield Trooper, and yeah, I'm 
really kind of surprised by how this team is working. Um, it's been a very, very long time um, since the Shield team was like viable. Um, you know, you see them a lot on war defense, but they are not the greatest war defense um, out there. They're just okay. So boom, we saw again, um, he counterattacked and he did apply another vulnerable to Miss Marvel. So happy to see that that mechanic is working and it wasn't a bug. Um, it was definitely just kind of me maybe not paying attention so much. Um, so again, we've got attacked. So again, Shield Trooper should attack her and put a vulnerable on her as well. As soon as Miss Marvel is done doing her assists. So boom, we've got that vulnerable from the counterattack. So really cool that that is working. Um, I think that is the way you're going to kind of get the maximum amount of vulnerables on the field. And um, we just had her kind of wipe out Miss Marvel and Miles over there. Um, so yeah, this team is definitely kind of performing um, much better um, in playing with them a little bit. You know, this definitely, I think, is the most optimal if you are going to run a shield team. I think this is the most optimal way to do it. Um, I don't think for right now, and I'll have to look at it a little bit, but I don't think placement is as important. Um you know, I've kind of got Kestrel and Coulson in the back, and then these two up front. Um, so those are my updated thoughts on Kestrel, as well as her T4s. Um, if y'all have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out. Please like and subscribe if you did find this video helpful. As always, thank you so much for watching, and hope you're having a good one.